yo guys, what's up? It's your boy JD and today we are going to do the very first shoe review here on my YouTube channel and today we are going to talk about the TR Bro, a Pete brand that is um, under Terrence Romeo's signature line and I told myself that when I was going to start an, a shoe review channel I wanted to focus more on budget models and both international and local brands here in the Philippines and what better shoe to review than Peak, which is an international brand and a Terrence Romeo line which is um, a Filipino basketball player so without further ado let's begin with our review and let's start with the traction so the traction here it offers a as you can see here on the forefoot area it offers a star like pattern and on the and on the bottom on, on your sorry on your heel area it offers a multi-directional uh, coverage so the thing that I like about this shoe is right off the box, um, the traction works just good. It's not as great, it's not like Kobe 9 level, but it is good enough. Like it doesn't need any break in time, doesn't need anything at all. And you just you just work your way through, you know, you put it in and you play in the black top and you're good to go. And considering that I play in dusty courts all the time in the cement and the black top, this guy offered such good coverage that um, I I wasn't complaining about anything. I wasn't even uh, I wasn't dusting off anything at all. So overall, uh, the shoe for me, uh, the, cush, the the tra traction setup, uh, not bad for for this shoe. So moving forward, as you can as you can see here in the outsole, there's a uh, there's a uh, there's a thing here that says a rising star, and the reason for this is because um, the the cushion setup and the, out, the outsole is it comes from another uh, peak model which is the Rising Star 2019 and Tyrone Romeo's other signature um, signature model also uses the same uh, also uses the same uh, traction and cushioning. So let's move forward. Uh, let's talk about right now. Let's talk about the midsole. So for the midsole, it just offers your standard EVA. Um, but the thing I like about this is it's a, it's plush. Like right off the bat, you wear it off the box, right off the box. Um, you can feel it right away. Trust me, I've only played in this once. Uh, I've only played it this once. I got it. Uh, I literally got it just a few days ago. I played it in once and just blacked out. And I can literally feel my feet sinking in the moment I gave it weight. The mo uh, when I come up from a rebound, I can feel it uh, supporting me. I can feel the support very well. So kudos to uh, kudos to Peak for doing this. It's very similar to how bounce works, actually. So, uh, if you're a cushion guy, but you also like the court feel, uh, this guy is actually good for you. So, again, uh, cushion, one of the best features in the shoe, actually. So, now we're gonna talk about the thing that I that disappointed me the most about this shoe, and we're gonna talk about the materials. Now, the thing is, this is a budget model, so you know you're not supposed to expect that much. You're not supposed to expect premium material from a shoe. But the thing is, there are some budget models from other brands, and even Peak, Peak themselves, they have budget models, they offer budget models that have really good, high quality uh, materials. But the thing that I don't like about this is, it's a layer of mesh on top of another layer of uh, shit mesh. And as you can see, I'm gonna get my right pair. As you can see, there's already fraying on this side, and I literally just played it with one game, and it already has fraying. So it kind of disappointed me on that part. So hey, but what can I say? For uh, three thousand two hundred pesos or just sixty dollars, the shoe, you know, you, that's what you expect. But I'm hoping that it's just my pair, so that when other people, you know, they, they get their they get their pair of these, um, you know, it won't be a problem for them. And I hope it's really, really, really just my pair. So other than that, the quality, all I can say is disappointing. But let's move forward to your support and your lockdown. So. For support, there's um, your internal heel counter, which is you know very common nowadays for a lot of shoes. You got your internal heel counter with minimum, uh, with minimum uh, heel padding, but you know for its price, at least there's padding, so your Achilles area, your ankle area is actually it, it's covered. It's good enough. Now for support and lockdown, I kind of had problems with it. Like it's not much of a big problem, but you know uh, it was bothering me a little. Because the thing about the support and lockdown is, right now, let's talk about the lacing. So, the reason why I had problems with this is because I also had problems with the sizing. 
usually with all the shoes that I buy, um, whether it's a different, any brand at all actually, usually I'm a size 8. So I bought a size 8 uh, f uh, from an online store and the thing is, uh, peak sizes, they kind of run long. So this one runs long. So every time, every after a few sprints here and there, while I was playing, I needed to, to retime a shoe over and over again. And it was kind of disturbing because it was bothering me because of course, um, I was playing with other people. So, you know, it was kind of holding the game back. Um, and then let's go with your lockdown. So again, like what I said, retying a lot, but then let's move forward. So as you can see here too, there's uh, flywire light materials. So it's not like, it's not as good as Nike's flywire system because um, it's literally just threads. Like if you pull on your, if you pull on your laces, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't expand, it doesn't extend at all. So it's literally just there. So it's like, a, it's just a loop there. It's just a loop for your shoelaces, that's it. But the thing is, I think it's the threads that actually, um, that actually uh, frayed off the materials right here. So what did I do? I put in some insoles and the moment I put in some insoles, I was good to go. Um, uh, Retying, it wasn't a problem anymore. So, you know, my advice is if you guys want to cop a pair of these, um, I would advise you to go in store first and try it on before purchasing online because uh, peak sizes sometimes they do go through true to size, but then sometimes they don't. So uh, it's best to try them in store. So what else can I say about the shoe? So for my final thoughts about the shoe, um, Overall, for 3,195 or 3,200 pesos or $60, th this shoe isn't bad at all. So if you guys are looking for a shoe that, you know, it's going to last you a while, durable, and if you play in the black top and if you want good cushion, enough court feel with good, um, with really good traction, this shoe's, uh, this shoe's recommendable for you guys. Um, but. If you guys are looking for high quality material, something that's gonna last you long on here in this area, probably not the best shoe for you. Maybe you guys can look somewhere else. You know. Anyways, um, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna cop a pair of these, I'll leave, I'll leave a link in the description down below for the Zalora link, and of course, um, you guys can also cop a pair of these in Olympic Village or probably Robinsons Manila, Peak Robinsons Manila, which is their flagship store. Um, here in Manila. So other than that, if you guys uh, like this video or if you learned uh, a thing or two about this shoe, or if you guys um, if you guys want more reviews on budget models and local brands, you know, like this like this video, uh, share this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell that, uh, that <laughs> notification button so that you know we can um, you guys can stay updated. All right, thanks guys. See you guys soon.